When Toyota said, let's go places, they were talking about in the tundra. What's up, guys? Amanda from Motor Biscuit here, and this week we have the 2023 Toyota Tundra Capstone with the iForce Max hybrid engine. Toyota was nice enough to lend us this cool thing for the week. And we are out here at Bonita Grand Aggregate, who is nice enough to let us come out here. You can tell it's a hybrid because they put all this cool blue stuff in the front grille. But you can actually tell that this is the capstone because nobody else gets this cool grill. In the new capstone, this iForce Max hybrid engine is a twin turbo V6 that's going to get you 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque and it looks wonderful in here, doesn't it? It can also tow more than 10,000 pounds. That's a pretty high amount, especially for a hybrid Toyota. Toyota included all of these cool new camera views for this year, and you can see the 360 view for the cameras that we were talking about earlier. You can see our cool little Tundra spinning around here. There's cameras underneath both of the mirrors, and then the backup camera here, I don't know if you can see it, but that's also a camera. So no matter where you're backing out of, you can probably see everything. I found it very helpful for turning around in my neighborhood. And look at that big screen. Comes with Apple CarPlay and Sirius XM radio, HD radio, and a pretty cool speaker system. Not bad for a Tundra. Down here, we've got some wireless charging, some awesome wood grain, and more cup holders than I've ever seen in a car in my life. So feel free to bring your bottles of water along if you go for a ride. I think one of the coolest things is this little button. Look at that. It's got a step. Oh, you can get up in here. It's got all kinds of lights on either side. Got some cool plugs for whatever you might need. It's got four big anchors on either side of the bed so you can strap all kinds of stuff in there. And I know I said the lights already, but these lights are pretty cool so you can see everything that's in your truck bed. I'm assuming you're not gonna put an adult human in the truck bed, but look, there's plenty of room for it if you need to. You don't wanna use the cool button on your keys. Bam, look at that, so easy. For buyers who like Toyotas or need a full-size truck but still want a little bit of luxury inside and all of the latest features, the capstone makes a lot of sense. There are a lot of trucks on the market in 2023 and Toyota had to do something different with the capstone in order to captivate the audience that might be looking elsewhere. And really, the capstone does that. Some people might find the capstone a little hard to park, and I agree as someone that drives a sedan, but there are so many cameras on the outside that you can use with the 360 view that make it a lot easier to park and see what's in front of you and behind you when you're pulling out of a tight space. I still ended up parking in the back, but that's just how I park anyway. At the end of the day, the Tundra Capstone is a really good truck for the right buyer. It might not be the right truck for everyone or those looking for a work truck, but I really did enjoy driving it around town while I had it, and I think that many drivers would probably be happy riding around in the capstone all day. Some critics said it was uncomfortable and the ride quality wasn't great, but I really didn't experience that, although Florida has acceptable enough roads without potholes, so I can see if you live in a different area or have different terrain, it might not offer such a cushiony ride. You're more likely to see a TRD Pro Tundra on the road these days than you are a capstone, and most buyers who want to spend $80,000 on a truck are probably not looking at the Tundra. I, however, think that they should look at the Tundra because it was a lot of fun. I would be happy to drive this truck around on a daily basis as my daily driver, and I would be happy to take it on a road trip since it has so many cup holders. Thanks for watching us on Motor Biscuit today. If you guys have any questions about the Tundra or anything else, feel free to leave us a comment. We'll get back to you, but thanks to Toyota for sending us this super cool Tundra, and thanks for watching, guys.